So welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We knock and we slam on different door fells, you know, poorly installed things. And today we've got a pretty special episode. It's going to be focused more around sustainability. You know, it's Earth Month, Earth Week, Earth Day, Earth Year. It shouldn't, shouldn't every day be Earth Day, right? If you think about it. Yeah. Um, we laugh, we learn, sometimes we cry, but most importantly, we uh, dork out on some doors and uh, have fun and we learn a little bit while we go through it. Today, we do have a couple of special guests. Um, I'm calling them the Sustainability Sisters. Um, <laughs> hopefully that's okay. But uh, um, please, if you could introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do with the company and then maybe a fun fact, let's, let's have some fun. I'll go first. Hey everyone, Amy Musanti, Director of Sustainability here at Asa Abloy. I've been with the company for a little over 15 years now. It feels like just yesterday that I started. Uh, fun fact about me, I was voted most mechanical in high school. I was the captain of the cheerleading squad that fixed cars <laughs> during class. So uh, it's good to, good to be a, a Jill of all trades, I suppose. Yes, most definitely. Really, you <laughs> were captain of the cheerleading team, but you also worked on cards. Cards, right? Yeah, wow. just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Erin Spadabekia, program manager for sustainability. I've been with Asa Abloy for a little over seven years. And a fun fact about me is I love being outdoors. I love kayaking, but I'm not that good at it. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've only been kayaking a couple times, but it, it is hard. It's hard work. I let the river do most of the, most of the work for me. Exactly. Um, and uh, as always, uh, you know her, you love her, uh, Mrs. Mia Merrill. Um, you want to jump on and say hi and uh, give us another fun fact? Yeah. So hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode uh, of Earth Month Unhinged. Uh, I was going to do a different fun fact, but since Amy did her high school superlative, I will do mine. Uh, yes. I was voted most likely to become a soccer mom. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have, do you have the minivan yet, Mia? To... My husband has a minivan. He is a stay at home dad. Uh, I, I refuse. No, it's the, it's really the kids minivan. So if we're carting the kids around, they go in the minivan and whoever has to drive them takes that that that's awesome um i i wish actually my dream car is a minivan so i'm i'm with them on that like it's so practical right when you have kids you just throw them in the bag throw your camping stuff in there it's a fun fact for me right Ooh, if we're going back to high school uh not a lot of people know this but in high school i actually started uh ballroom dancing and uh, that's what i ended up getting a scholarship for and going to college um, and ended up competing all around the world when I was much younger. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, uh, from ballroom dancer to dork, I, who, who, who would have thought <laughs> that would <have> happen? <laughs> uh, but I was the captain of our ballroom uh, dance team. So there you go, Amy. I've got the That's captain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive and varied. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, here is how unhinged works for those who might not know. Um, I'll pop up a picture of a door. We will slam, we will knock on the door, we'll throw out any helpful tips and then give it a knocking score. So a knocking score, uh, one uh, through 10, one not being very good, like, like this is not too bad, right? And then 10 being pretty knocking bad, like we should get this addressed immediately. Let's call the AHJ or fire marshal. Let's, let's take action on this. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we don't see too many 10s out there, but you never know. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's see it. Do you do a drum roll for this or is it just like? <laughs> okay, are you waiting for it? Are you ready? I can't wait any longer. Ready. Let's jump in. Oh. Oh, this poor exit device. Yeah, yeah, is that exit device like vertically? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it is what it looks like. It is. Wow. It's just hard to believe that's what it actually is. Two, two rim exit devices installed vertically upside down. And then somehow they got the push pull bars to activate. 
Like these doors actually work from some sort of miracle. They work. <laughs> I mean, this could be considered custom. And recycling. The first thing, of course, I notice from, you know, like I'm thinking energy efficiency and sustainability is the large gap yeah. <laughs> going down the center. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we always say, if you can see the outside from the inside, in this case, obviously with the glass door, you can, but you should not be able to see that much of it. So that's good. You can, it's a very generous building owner that's paying to heat or cool the outdoors at this point. You'd be surprised how much energy is wasted from something simple as this. A little gasketing, a little weather stripping goes a long way. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a properly installed exit device goes a long way because I'm sure these doors could have been level and square and plumb but somehow this isn't working <laughs> and it looks like they have the push bar screwed into the exit device yep <laughs> the exit bar the push actuates is it attached to the bottom bolt so yes they have strikes installed into the ground which is also like rim strikes not not like oh, what are they called the bottom strikes the floor strikes <laughs> Oh, those are like the actual rim exit device strikes that you could run and trip over as you're exiting out the door in an emergency. What is in the black section? Because it's like hard to see between, I guess, where the bolt would be interacting with the strike and the bar. Like, yeah, what's in that area? Oh, I, th I think it's just part of the the rim exit. This this type of exit oh. device like a, a black section there or an okay. extension. Well, the glass door is providing daylighting. Uh, that's that's about all uh, that looks good here. Right. Yeah. Daylighting is important to a sustainable built environment. So Aaron <laughs> has a good point there. There you go. Yeah. Good. There is a little glimpse of hope in this photo. My buddy Scott that sent this over, he actually saw that someone was doing this all over this resort that he was at. So this is like oh, a wow. hospitality environment. He said wow. that that uh, three or four exactly set up this way. Someone was getting creative. <laughs> Who thought this looked good? To Aaron's point too, from a sustainability perspective, like you said, this is a great use of maybe one product reaching the end of its life and reusing it for something else. So um, when we talk about product end of life recycling and circularity, instead of it going to landfill, it went back into uh, into another project. It's impressive. Yeah. It, it's refurbishment it's an, at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those look pretty worn. They could have used those from a different door and installed them on this door, or maybe they did a remodel and they didn't order the right parts. Or I mean, they, they, they're be they're sustainable in some way. It's probably incredible how many people walk by this opening and think don't think twice about it right yes. but then yes. people in our world they see it immediately and they're like what is this <laughs> and I need to take a picture of it immediately <laughs> yes. and yes. inspect it of course yes you can't unknow it you just keep looking okay uh if you were to give this a knocking score one to ten one not being very bad ten being uh this is uh pretty bad I give it like a six it's not like super egregious because we, we got some sustainability going on here, but uh, it's definitely not good. Yeah, I go with that. I was, I was going around to five or so just because it's commendable on the creativity side of things, but from an energy efficiency perspective, not, not so good. Not great. <laughs> that that <laughs> gap is uh, wasting a lot of energy yeah. and resources. Part of me wants to go lower because I don't think there's any code or life safety issues. Maybe there are. I don't know. The thing is, is with surface vertical rods, there's often a floor strike that sticks up. Now the rim strikes stick up much farther than those. Uh, so I guess there is some life safety. I'll go four. Okay. Yes, I would completely agree with you. I would say the only thing that I'd be really concerned about is the tripping hazard. And then it's not really ADA accessible you know if you had a wheelchair how would you open up this door trying to push in on one of these exit devices and it's getting caught on your wheelchair so that would be my other call out so maybe i would slightly higher that score a little bit but to be fair not, not... there's stairs right there that's true so that's if you're probably... worried about ada this is not your exit <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, sure hope you don't need to go out this exit. then. <laughs> good catch, good catch. Okay, uh, let's jump into the next one. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.